C.S. Lewis died 50 years ago, on November 22nd, 1963. He died the same day as President John F. Kennedy and the science fiction writer Aldous Huxley, author of The Brave New World. Lewis thought his writing would be forgotten within five years, but his beloved children's books, The Chronicles of Narnia, have sold more than 100 million copies in 41 languages. Not only was he a writer of fiction with an ongoing legacy, Lewis was known as a defender of the Christian faith, an apologist for ordinary folks. His book, Mere Christianity, has sold in the millions and was ranked as one of the most influential modern books on Christianity. I would put Lewis in the top five people on the planet who have influenced me most. Lewis was a man of crystal clarity in his thinking and writing. He was simply brilliant in his relentless exposure of shoddy thinking. He made the written page radiant with descriptive insight. Though he saw clearly and helpfully the created, visible reality around us, Lewis was also a good guide for us in cherishing the eternal, the unseen world that was his supreme source of joy. He wrote, if I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. He knew that if he did not discover the God beyond the desire, the true God who awakens and satisfies all desires, he would live an endlessly frustrated life. So Lewis was on a quest for joy, which became a quest for the object of the joy, so that the joy could be satisfied. That is how he became a Christian. And that is how he became a profound influence in shaping what I have called Christian hedonism. Thank you.